What's up, brother? Today I want to talk about some of the things I wish I knew before I started playing PAX Day. I've been playing PAX Day for the last couple of days, and there's a couple of things I wish I knew, a couple of things I wish I could change in the game, but um, if you didn't already know, their PAX Day is kind of like a survival MMO game. Um, Valheim and, you know, imagine Valheim and Rust had a baby there, so yeah. First tip, if you don't already, or you plan to you know you want to play with friends there's going to make the game a lot easier especially with grinding out getting materials making your base everything like that you can play this game solo but it's going to be a lot more tedious there um, especially when it comes down to like fighting monsters there not only just building your base but kind of like just the game as a whole you can't like i said you can't play the game solo it's gonna be a little bit more hard, a little bit more tedious there, but uh, definitely play with some friends or even join a clan if you uh, if you want to. There's a bunch of clans posted up in the PAX Day Discord there, so you could join up with a clan and jump right in and have some fun. My second tip here is going to be obviously base location with a survival game there there's only certain items you're going to be able to find in certain zones there as an example um with like flint you're going to need flint the only place you're going to find flint is near water there so even though it doesn't look like that far away that's about a 30 minute walk for me because you have to go around all the different mobs there's a giant cliff right here, so you got to walk all the way down, or you got to walk all the way this way to here to get to the water. So, very long time there, but also in our mind, we're like, oh, you know, we're going to make our base somewhere between the higher level zone, the medium zone, and then kind of like the starting zone area. Um, <laughs> But realistically, I honestly wish we made our base closer to the wooded area as you need so much wood that it's not even funny. Um, you're not only going to need a ton of wood, you're going to need a ton of rock. Um, you're going to need a good amount of iron there until you get into the later game. But it looks like wood and rock, iron, you're going to be needing for a very long time there. So I definitely recommend making your base closer to a wooded area. Um, to starting off, you're not going to be able to cut down like trees like this. The only tree you're going to be able to cut down is a tree that looks more so like it's like a dead tree. They don't have any leaves on them there, so you can use your axe to chop that tree. There, these trees will be too hard there to be able to chop those down. So you definitely want to make your base, you know, using those kind of guidances, putting them in those specific areas. Um, and then my third tip, because you're going to be collecting so much wood, so much iron, so much rock, and so many other materials, then I recommend going after these wicker baskets. I didn't know that they have the same amount of storage space as a regular wooded chest there. Um, and they cost far less materials, far easier to make, and they're also a lot smaller. Same amount of storage space there. Um, I'm assuming that they're going to change that in the future, because with the chest being... You know, obviously twice as big, if not bigger, than a regular whisker, wicker basket in physical form. <laughs> um, you think the chest would be a little bit bigger. Later down in the game, you will be able to make a couple different types of storages. So here you can make a wooden barrel. Um, you can even make a decorated chest there too. Um, but even now, I'm not really able to make those um storages just yet um so obviously i have a ton of your baskets here in my base there and all you need to make them is just reeds super easy to get they're pretty much everywhere um but yeah those are the three things that i wish i knew before i started playing um as a bonus tip there when it comes to combat combat is very rudimentary um, so I recommend getting a shield. So normally you would get your crap rocked by all these wolves here. Um, but get your shield out, equip your shield, and then shield bash them. Then you just beat the crap out of them. You're going to be stunned for about six seconds, I think. Um, but that's not forever. So we are going to jump up, get up here. Oh, I almost died. Um, you can hit them with like an axe from up here. 
Um, but I do recommend using maybe even like a spear. And you'll be able to hit all of them. It does quite a bit more damage. And it makes it super easy to kill. So again, this is just playtest alpha. Um, so <laughs> they might fix this in the future. But for right now, you'll be able to take advantage of this little, uh, this little bug. Yeah, there you go. Free kills, free XP, some free leather, some free food. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any other tips or tricks, leave them down in the comment section below. Yeah, hope you, have a guys, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching.